We're going up against the Atlanta Hawks in this game. He Let's has go. Anthony Davis as his first pick. So he is going right to work on this first possession. He does a drop step. What a surprise, if you guys watched my last video, drop step cheese, Jimmy Butler <laughs> comes right back with a dunk. So this first quarter was pretty close. What I try to do in this game is take advantage of Julius Randle against Lorraine Markkinen whenever I had that matchup. And I had Markkinen coming off the screen right here. Because I know Markkinen is a poor defender, so I tried to involve him in as much plays as possible. But that was a bad pass. Anthony Davis gets the dunk on the break. We can't afford to have turnovers against this team. Jimmy Butler with a three-point shot gives us the lead temporarily. So we're going to call for another screen involving Markinen once again. He goes under the screen. I'm going to pull it for three. Or I could have passed it to Randall who was right under the basket. So the key point of this was to keep involving Markinen. Again, as you can see, I am involving Markinen in the play. He's way too slow to guard that. On this next possession, I know he's going to pass it to Anthony Davis. So I get the interception with Jimmy Butler. We're going to go on the fast break. And right here, I don't lay the ball up right away because I know he's going to try to recover and block me. If I went up right away, he would have gotten a recovery block. So sometimes you got to be ahead of your opponent which I was on that possession with the interception and then with the pump fake to get AD in the air. And once again, I'm going to hesitate right here because he's a little bit confused. He doesn't know what I'm going to do on the break and we get the layup with Jimmy Butler. So he misses the free throw and whenever they miss a free throw, you have a fast break opportunity right here. I get a three-point shot with Rozier. Wide open triple. I take a midi right here. That was a contested shot. I don't know why I took that, but nice put back. Again, like I mentioned in previous videos, ooh, Dwight Howard, chase down block. I tend to take jump shots when I see AD, I mean, sorry, when I see Drummond or Dwight Howard, they have position in the paint because they're in position to get the offensive rebound. And we reward Dwight Howard with the dunk right there on the pick and roll. We double team right here. John Wall is wide open for three, and he gets his fall. So despite our, <laughs> our efforts, we're only up by one. Chris Paul goes all the way, and he gets an and one. So I don't know why people like to full court press. It's an easy layup most of the time. Woo! Anthony Davis the catch and block. I don't know why Randall went up with that weak layup, the weakest layup of all time. Kevin Love is still posting up, but he's not that guy anymore. He misses the layup. Caruso goes to coast to coast. I don't know how he got that layup over Anthony Davis. <laughs> I was surprised. Again, Kevin Love is not that guy anymore. I don't know why he's trying to post up. Look at that. <laughs> he misses again. He ends up going out of the key and calling a timeout to avoid the three second in the key violation. So going to call for a screen with Kyle Lowry. Anthony Davis with a nice lob. So there's about half a minute left in the second quarter. Jimmy spins into the paint, finds Dwight under the basket. And then he's going to try to find Anthony Davis again. I could already feel it. Kyle Lowry. <laughs> he gets... <laughs> oh, never mind. I thought he was going to find Anthony Davis. He gets blocked and then we get the dunk. To start off the second half, Kyle Lowry is going to go for a contested layup. I'm not sure why he attempted that. <laughs> he has two players on Chris Paul. Jimmy Butler is the open man. Again, we're on the fast break. Kevin Love, look at him in... <laughs> He's like in quicksand. Oh my goodness. I don't know what he's doing out there in the perimeter. Kevin Love's feet were moving like a snail. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. So Andre Drummond gets a, a monster rebound over... <laughs> I can't even talk anymore because of Kevin Love. Uh, Drummond got the offensive rebound over AD. Caruso got the triple. Jimmy Butler gets the mid-range shot right here. I don't know why he was reaching with James Johnson. I don't even know where James Johnson is right now. Is he still in the lead, James Johnson? Is he a free agent? I haven't been following him recently, so I'm not sure. I was surprised to see him in this game. So Randall gets a three-point shot on that last clip. We're going to get a screen right here. Again, we're going to abuse James Johnson and Kevin Love. James Johnson goes all the way back. <laughs> Wide open triple for Jimmy Butler. So he has a lot of players on this court that are really terrible on defense. He has Kevin Love, he has James Johnson, 
He also has Markinen. I mean, don't get me wrong, James Johnson back in the day was a decent defender. But at this stage, I'd rather have uh, John Wall or Marcus Smart. You know, those are his two best perimeter defenders. Or even Kyle Lowry trying to guard, you know, what I'm doing. <laughs> Gives him a better chance. Alright, so this fourth quarter is where things get spicy. <laughs> he starts to make his run, marking in, gets a three-point shot in the corner. And then we're going to leave James Johnson wide open because, like I said, James Johnson is a liability on this game. I don't know why he has him on the court. <laughs> can't play defense, can't shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, uh, this fourth quarter, like I mentioned, got spicy. We're going to find... Who's that? Is that Iggy? Yeah, it is. Ooh, my bad. I can't really see the screen like I mentioned in my previous video. Rozier gets a nice cut off that plate. Anthony Davis is going to do a drop step. I'm not going to jump, but he ends up pushing me a little bit and gets a nice rise up dunk, a standing dunk. So it's a six point game. We're going to involve Mark in once again in the action. Randall gets a three point shot. John Wall is going to pull up for three over Caruso. He makes it. That was a wide open shot. I thought it was a little bit contested, but apparently it wasn't. And this is why I don't like jumping. Every time you jump in the paint, it's always a foul. So I try my best not to jump, but sometimes it gives you a better contest. And this time the computer, DeAndre Jordan jumps, fouls him again. He ends up making all his free throws and the game is end up being tied. So again, we're going to try to push up on John Wall so he doesn't get a clear lane but he still does <laughs> no bumping animation for Caruso I'm not sure why probably because I wasn't there in time but it's all good <laughs> Anthony Davis flies out of bounds hopefully he didn't get injured off of that you know how AD is every time he jumps and lands everyone holds their breath so it's a tie game once again and this time I change my defensive position and we finally get a bump animation which caused him to miss so I'm going to go all the way in the paint with Jimmy Butler. I wait for him to jump and we get fouled. So we have two clutch free throws to knock down. We're going to knock down the first. And we're also going to end up knocking down the second. But on the next play, my opponent ends up getting and one. So we're down by one. On this possession, we're going to call for the screen. Jimmy Butler, wide open shot. He's been making this all game, but I missed that one. So it's a one point basketball game. I'm sagging off with Caruso, but John Wall somehow gets <laughs> right by me like I'm not even there. He gets another dunk. So it's a three point game. I'm not going to call a timeout. I don't want his defense to set up. And Markinen is still in the game. So I want to take advantage of Markinen on this possession. I'm going to try to make him move a lot. But as you can see, I'm trying to seek Markinen out. He gets lost on that possession. Julius Randle ties the game. Let's go, baby. Let's take another look at that game. Tying shot by Randall. Woo! This angle is really, really nice. Look at the crowd. They're putting their hands on their head. What a clutch shot by Julius Randall. That was the biggest shot of the season so far from Julius. Markinen was looking the other way. Beautiful screenshot. So heading into overtime, our game plan is not going to change. We're going to go at Markinen once again. Julius Randall gets an easy dunk on him. <laughs> Gotta abuse him all game long. James Johnson, like I said, is a liability. I don't know why he's in the court. <laughs> he misses a layup. Oh man, every time I saw him ha uh, with the ball or on defense, my eyes lit up. He pulls up for three, a contested shot. We're gonna go on the fast break. He jumps on Caruso, gives us a wide open dunk. So we have a chance to ice the game. Again, we're gonna go in Laurie Markinen. I'm gonna ISO. Woo! He doesn't know where I'm going. I was dancing like dancing with the stars. <laughs> Jimmy Butler had him on skates. Oh man. Rewind that and look at the different moves that Jimmy Butler put on Markinen. Anthony Davis tries to go for contested layup. We get an animation finally in the paint with no foul. So he has a chance to tie the game. He goes to Luke Kennard. Contested shot. It's a miss. So this overtime was pretty smooth for our team before this video ends i just want to show you guys the replay of the jimmy butler game winner and briefly explain what i did so i did a left to right crossover i paused right here i could have shot a midi just to make him think about it 
but I went back into the painted area. But I knew he would come back, so I went immediately back into the right before he came back into the paint. So I was thinking a couple of steps ahead of my opponent, if that makes any sense. So I was supposed to upload this on the weekend, but I wanted to take a couple of extra days to do these replays and screenshots for you guys to make it really, really nice. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. Please drop a like and a comment. It would mean a lot. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow 